Hello, my name is David Valentine II and I am one of the organizers for Lessons and Carols. First off, the Lessons and Carols team and the entire Carter Metropolitan CME Church, we are incredibly thankful for your support and we are all looking forward to an incredible production on Sunday at 5 p.m. Now that you have bought your ticket, I'm here to walk you through creating your free Eventbrite account and showing you where to go to view the event. Now, before I begin, I want to address why this is an important step. Imagine you just opened a bank account. You sign all the paperwork, you put $500 in the account and you get a debit card. Great. But now let's say you wanna sign up for online banking. Well, even though, let's say Chase Bank, even though Chase Bank knows who you are, your money is still in the bank, Chase needs you to sign up for online banking so you can access your account online. This way they can verify that it is you with your email and password. And the same concept applies here. You just bought tickets for Lessons and Carols on Eventbrite. And yes, you provided your email when you bought your ticket, but more likely than not, you did not create an Eventbrite account when you purchase them and that's okay. You have your tickets, but by easily creating an Eventbrite account, Eventbrite can then verify you by your email and password, and thus you are able and ready to attend the online event. Now, let's create an Eventbrite account. First, let's head to Eventbrite website. So I'm already here, but just in case for some people, I'm going to spell it out for you. And it is E V E N T B R I T E dot com. Just want to type that out for you. And we're right back here at eventbrite.com. And in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click on this sign in button right here. I'm going to click that. Now you come to this page. Now this is very important. You must, and I repeat, must enter in the email address that your tickets were sent to. If you bought tickets for yourself, it is simply the email address you provided when you completed the individual ticket information. But if your ticket was purchased by someone else, then you will use the email address that you provided them to purchase your tickets. If you want to confirm the email address, just go to your email account you use most often and search and look for an email with the subject line, your tickets for a virtual service of Lessons and Carols. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna to go to my email and boom, right there. First email, your tickets for a virtual service of Lessons and Carols. And this is the email account that I used, okay? So I'm gonna close that. Or you can simply ask the person who bought your tickets if you don't remember which email address you gave them, okay? So now we're back at Eventbrite and we're about to sign in and we're going to enter in that email address. So let me do that. So there we go. I've entered that in and now I'm gonna click get started. And you're gonna see this message, okay? I'm gonna read it for you. It says, check your email. Looks like you are already in our system. Check your email at whatever your email address is to create a new password. So most of the time, so we're gonna go check out that email. And it's the first email that I've gotten, okay? The subject line is activate your Eventbrite account. Now, you're gonna click it. And I just wanna say this, most of the time, if not all the time, emails from Eventbrite will come directly to your inbox as it did for me, as you just saw. But you might have to check your other email folders if you don't see it in your main inbox. Look for an email, again, with the subject, active, with the subject line, activate your Eventbrite account. Open that email and then you're going to click the green activate the you're going to click the green activate account button and that's what we're going to do now so 
I'm going to click this button. Takes you back to Eventbrite. And look, it says you're almost there. Enter a password to complete your account. Now I'm going to enter in a password. Um, now you're going to enter in a password that only you remember and no one else can guess. You're going to make sure that it is at least eight characters. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm gonna retype that just to make sure. I always wanna make sure. Okay, got it. So now I've entered in that password. I am gonna click the sign up button. And now it takes us back to the event by the event by page. But if you look at the top, the upper right hand corner of your page, you will see your email address. So that means you've signed up, you've created an account. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to where our ticket is for Lessons and Carols. So I'm going to hit the email, um, my email address in the upper right hand corner. There's going to be a drop down. And now I'm going to click tickets. If I click tickets, if I scroll down, I see a Lessons and Carols. OK, I see December 20th. I see it starts in two days The flyer. This is what you should see. Now I'm going to click this hyperlink here that says go to online event. So I'm going to click that. And here is our online event page. And this is what we were trying to get to. This is the page that you're going to come to when we are ready to roll on December 20th at 5 p.m. This is the all the zoom information. This is the zoom information. Only thing that's here, there's no link. You're not going to get emailed a link or anybody's not going to get emailed a link or any other information. You will come to this page on the day of the event. And as you can see here, there is a button here. It's gray. It says starts in two days. This button on the day of the event, probably about between 4.45 and 5 p.m., it's going to turn, I believe the color is blue, but it's going to say join now. As you can see right here, you'll be able to join the Zoom webinar when you see the join now, join now button above, okay? So on the day of the event, you're going to come here. You're going to between 4.45 and 5 p.m. Uh, that's when this button will turn and say join now. And you're going to hit that button and it's going to open up Zoom on your device, the Zoom app that hopefully is already installed and it's going to take you directly to our event and you will be able to see the production. Um, now, I wanna just um, add a couple things. Now, let's say you sign in at 4.30, some of us are early. That's totally fine. Now, if you are not really familiar with refreshing the page, that's totally fine. What we're gonna do is to refresh the page, we're gonna go back up to the upper right-hand corner of our page. This is the old classic way. We're going to click our email at the upper right-hand corner. We're gonna hit tickets. We're gonna hit again, go to online event. And then hopefully if you've done this once, you know, if you've tried, the next time you try, it will already be enabled. If not, that's totally fine. We're looking to start between 4.45 and 5 p.m. But definitely at about 5 p.m., we should be ready to go. But at the end of the day, you're in the right space. And like I said, if it's not enabled, just go up here, right click your email. Uh, not right click, I'm sorry. You're going to click on your email in the upper right hand corner, click tickets, go to online event, and then it'll be there. You should see sign in, you should see join now. I also want to preface this, you must have Zoom installed. You cannot view the presentation without having Zoom, um, the Zoom app, desktop app or app installed on your device. So what I would recommend doing is that you sign into Eventbrite like we just did. On the day of the event, you get on the device that has Zoom, you sign in like we just did and you, you know, click in the upper right hand corner, 
click your email, click tickets, click go to online event page for virtual lessons and carols, and it takes you here. I would do all this on the device that you're going to use, uh, that you have Zoom already installed. And what I can also, what we can also do is include the, um, where you can download Zoom, the, the, the link to install Zoom, I should say, okay? So that's it, very simple, very harmless, um, very free. <laughs> and um, it's just what's needed so that we can have a seamless experience. And at the end of the day, um, it's all about security and verifying who you are since you purchased the ticket. We don't want anybody else having access to this information if they haven't bought a ticket and you have. So we want to, wanted to do this to make it crystal clear and, um, and assist you in creating your um, Eventbrite account, okay? So again, thank you for your support and we're looking forward to seeing you on Sunday, December 20th at 5 p.m. See you soon.